Firstly, Daisy, how are you feeling at this stage of your pregnancy? Yeah, going really well. Um, feeling a bit better than I was at the beginning when I was pretty sick, but um, yeah, now I kind of feel like myself, except for a little bump on my tummy. <laughs> I think as you get closer to the end, you do start to feel a little bit heavier, but the excitement of the idea of two babies being here soon um, is building as well, so yeah, can't wait. <laughs> how difficult was it for you personally to kind of move away from, for the time being, from, from being a professional athlete to really start a family. Was it a, a tough decision to kind of come to terms with? Yeah, in a way, because you, you are so competitive and um, you're always thinking one more and next year and you can just keep putting it off and off for a long time, I suppose. But there probably won't be a, a, a right time. And a lot of people say that no matter what industry they're in and where they work. So. Now that we're here, it's kind of like, this is the right time and, and you go with it and adapt in and around that. Didn't really plan on being <laughs> the first in this category, but yeah, it's an awesome thing and it's taken a bit of adjusting um, because yeah, you still got a com real competitive edge. Finished last season, you know, wanting to go a couple better this year and with big plans of what that looks like. And this obviously um, changes that plan a little bit for me personally, but um, no, nah, it's been good to be able to adjust and contribute in other ways around the team and, you know, just try and work on other ways that I can help make the people around me better. Um, and yeah, it's kind of nice in a way to take a step back and realise you, you really do love the game and still really motivated to get out there and um, contribute next, next year, hopefully. And it obviously is a, a new and exciting um, next stage of your life. So do you think you'll sort of manage with the new, the new challenge? Yeah, I hope so. I keep telling myself that it's been done before. <laughs> um, and yeah, why not? I'm sort of pretty relaxed about the whole thing. I'm sure I'll have some challenging moments and learn a lot about myself and my partner that I didn't know before. But um, yeah, over and above, I think it'll just be really rewarding. But um, it's going to be a, a whole new test of my organisation and planning and all that kind of thing next year because it, it'll be a bit of a challenge managing it all if I am to get back but I feel like I've got good support and yeah really look forward to it. <laughs> and obviously you'll take a, a different role this season so just tell me a little bit more about your role that will be kind of off field now. Yeah so this year I'm mainly helping out with our first year players um, so I'm working in a bit of a mentoring role for them just helping them settle into the environment and adjust to, for some of them, playing sport at the highest level that they have. Uh, and also just bringing them up to speed in some of our game plan and terminology and all that kind of thing so that they're in a really good place to get the best out of them, themselves this year. So it's been really rewarding. Really look forward to seeing what they can do when we start playing games next year. Do you think when uh, the time does come that the season will start, you'll kind of struggle to, to sit on the sidelines? <laughs> um, yeah, a little bit. I, I, it's getting easier at the moment, but in terms of when we first got back together for the program, it was really hard as Mick presented, you know, the big plan for this year and where he saw us heading and the adjustments we were going to make to our game style. Uh, it was a pretty motivating and inspiring presentation, so <laughs> that was... Um, a bit of a, a hard moment where you think, gee, I'm not going to be out there. And then the other rock bottom moment was come, walking into our new locker room and <laughs> being wrapped to see these flash new lockers that we didn't have last year. And then as I scanned along the numbers, realising it went four, five, seven, eight. <laughs> there wasn't one for number six because there's only 30 of them there. So that was, a, that was probably my rock bottom moment <laughs> so far. But yeah, when games come back, around it, it'll probably be hard again then, but won't be long at that point until the babies actually come. When people ask me what their due date is, I say about round two or three. <laughs> I'm working off rounds, so yeah, by the time it starts, I'll have my hands pretty well and truly full, and by the time I get my head back up above water and open my eyes to the rest of the world, it might have come and gone a bit. Do you feel your responsibility kind of as a role model has increased at all? Oh, not really. I haven't really thought about it that way, but um, yeah, I'm sure I won't be the last person to get, get pregnant and want to get back and play footy or any sports for that matter as we start to see more and more 
elite um, women's sports, we'll see more and more people trying to juggle it and their um, family commitments in and around it. So, um, yeah, I guess I'm one of the first in footy to go through it, but let's hope we see it more and more. It'll be a beautiful part of um, the sport.